Now that the frets are done, it's time to carve the neck. I always I like to keep the neck in its roughed out form when I'm doing the frets. I just feel like it gives a little extra mass so that when I'm hammering the frets there's there's less tendency for the the neck to bounce. Um, I know there are a lot of people who carve their necks before putting in frets and obviously it works fine but this is how I've always done it. So all I've done so far since this piece of mahogany is just really hacked out with the bandsaw, I, I used this rasp to file down my, my reference points, I guess I'd call them. The, the, roughly the thickness is where I want the neck to end up. Um, it's at about 0.8 inches under the nut and 0.9 inches at the 12th fret. Now I'll use a spoke shave and start taking away a lot of this waste wood. Once I get the neck carved exactly where I want it, then I'll finish the, the volute on the back of the peg head. And uh, boy, then it'll almost be time to put the finish on. getting pretty close so now I'm going to switch to using a few different rasps and do the final shaping. Um, gotta be particularly careful around the volute. I hit it once with the spoke shave and didn't do any real damage but it was a good reminder to be really careful because if I knock it off then it just won't be there. <laughs> I'm getting close here, but this is really going to be slow going to, uh, to make the transition from the shaft of the neck to the volute and, and get a nice and symmetrical wrapping of the back of the peg head. I'm just going to take my time. getting close so I'm taking out all the, the scratches from the rasp with a scraper
Okay, now I can sand the neck and the heel and then do the last bit of shaping of the volute. Quite a challenge to make this symmetrical and pleasant to look at. Taking way longer than it should. Try to curve this in symmetrically. So a couple of reference marks. Using sanding paper on a stick to try to get all the little scratches out. Um, it seems like it's pretty clean now, and the volute is is looking about like I want it to look. Let's see here. Hope that shows. So what I'm going to do now is just because the wood is kind of pale, um, the imperfections imperfections show up better if I wet it down. Put some alcohol on it. And then I can see where I've got a few scratches right at the base of the volute. Take care of those. And a little deep spot. Oh, mostly just at this side. So after the alcohol dries, I'll clean that up. Then I think I'm done with this part.